Uh, Ambassador Garber, uh, I appreciate our visit uh, yesterday uh, and our discussion. Uh, I am uh, one of the who believes that in cases such as Cyprus, unless we reconcile ourselves with the past, it is difficult to move forward. So to that end, do you acknowledge that there was an invasion of Cyprus and that Turkey should seek to withdraw its troops? Sorry about that. Senator, thank you very much for, for that question. And um, I, I think it's um, right to recall the tragic events. You're right to recall the tragic events of 1974. Um, uh, in 1974, uh, following these tragic events, the United States supported UN General Assembly Resolution 3212, and this called for both sides to freely achieve a mutually acceptable political settlement on the island. Um, this has led the United States for many years to support Cypriot-led UN-facilitated negotiations to reunite the island as a bizonal bicommunal federation. We seek to use language that enables the United States to play an effective role, and we have played an effective role in helping to facilitate those discussions. We continue to see a settlement on the island as the best reason for security. Well, I appreciate that answer to a question that I did not pose. The question that I posed was not what do we seek in terms of a settlement. The question that I posed is whether or not Turkish troops invaded northern Cyprus and are still there in northern Cyprus, occupying northern Cyprus. I think if we cannot uh, accept a factual reality, then we're in trouble in terms of trying to figure out how do we move forward. So is it true that Turkish troops uh, ultimately crossed into northern Cyprus and are presently there, continuing uh, since 1974? The Turkish intervention on the on the island led to the events of, of uh, the tragic divisions that we have today. I think the issue of the Turkish troops is one of the most sensitive issues in the negotiations and one that will be part of a final Do settlement. Do you acknowledge that there are Turkish troops in northern Cyprus? Turk um, do I acknowledge that there, thank you, Senator. Um, do I acknowledge that there are Turkish troops on, on northern Cyprus? Yes. Um, yes or no? Yes, there are Turkish troops in. Thank you. It's, uh, you know, the State Department, <laughs> I appreciate uh, the, the nuances, but there are certain things that are just real. Turkish troops, which were not existent prior to this time, invaded northern Cyprus and have continued to be there and makes it one of the most militarized places in the world. That's just a fact. Now, dealing with that fact as we try to seek a bizonal, bicommunal uh, federation where people can live in peace and security is an important fact. So I, uh, you know, I, I, I gather that you're constrained because I know you have an incredibly uh, successful uh, history and a career history of the department, but uh, th th this always baffles me in terms of not just recognizing simple facts. Let me ask you this. Uh, if confirmed, will you work to ensure access to Turkish military zones on the island where missing Greek and Turkish Cypriot persons may be buried? Uh, thank you for that question, Senator. The issue of missing persons is a, ver missing persons is a very important uh, issue of concern to the United States. If confirmed, I will work to make sure that the Committee on Missing Persons is able to have access to all burial sites mm -hmm. um, uh, and expeditiously I, I, conclude its work. I heard your previous answer to the question about lifting the arms embargo. I'm one of those who believes we should lift the U.S. arms embargo on Cyprus. Uh, this is part of the European Union. Uh, Cyprus plays a critical role with us in so many different ways, in intelligence sharing, when we've had to airlift Americans out of other areas in the region. Cyprus has been our landing point. They have been receptive. They've been helpful. Uh, I believe we should lift the arms embargo against Cyprus. Let me ask you finally, do you believe that the Cypriot government has the right to exploration in its exclusive economic zone in accordance with international law? And if you are confirmed, will you defend that right? Uh, Senator, thank you very much for that question. Uh, the, w the United States recognizes the right of the Republic of Cyprus to the resources in its exclusive economic zone. We believe that they should be shared equitably in the context of an overall settlement. 
the ener energy has uh, the ability to promote greater regional cooperation, and we believe a settlement will facilitate not only the development of these resources, but their ability to work to the benefit of all Cypriots.